Is it wrong to want it all When you give it all you've got When you sacrifice everything you have Only for a dream that might never come true What's up guys, this is a new Lifetime Principle And this week guys, I'm speaking to a select group of people You guys, you haven't achieved your potential yet You guys, you haven't taken your life to the next level And you're wondering why You're wondering why you haven't received the opportunities that you ever so badly want You're wondering why you haven't achieved your success yet The reason why you're doing so guys is because you're living in fear Guys, listen to me. The reason why you haven't taken yourself to the next level is because you're scared to fail. Because you have the illusion that because of your circumstance, you can't be successful, guys. And one thing that I need you guys to understand, and one thing that I need you guys to break out of, is that negative illusion. Listen to me, guys. You haven't achieved your goals yet. There are things that you want to do, but you haven't achieved yet. And I need you to break out of it. Why? Because greatness is upon you. Guys, you deserve to be amazing. You deserve to have what you want. You deserve to do what you want. And you deserve to be wherever you want to be in life. So I need you to understand that first. Listen to me, guys, because this is crazy. There are a select group of people out there who haven't achieved their goals because they're scared of what their friends think because they're scared to fail. And guys, understand this, when you don't achieve your goals, when you don't do the things that make you happy, when you don't do the things that you want to do, you commit psychological slavery. When you don't do the things that you dream about, when you don't live your dream, you commit modern day slavery. And what's modern day slavery and psychological slavery? It's literally doing the things that you don't want to do. It's being in bondage because of somebody else or something else. Some of you it's fear. Some of you it's a mental fear. Some of you it's because of what your friends want to do. Some of you it's because of what society wants of you. Break out of it, guys. Listen to me. Break out of it, guys. Because until you get to a point where you swap fear for faith, listen to me, I'm going to say that again. Until you get to the point where you swap fear for faith, you will turn your pain into a prize. You will turn your tribulation into a trophy. But guys, I need you to swap fear for faith first. So understand this for me. Guys, for me, myself, I had to get out of a, pl a place where I was doing what other people wanted me to do. Guys, like I said, I'm very transparent. I'm a sprinter. There was a time in my life where a coach who I really had a lot of respect for told me, Dan, you're going to run the 400 meters. I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, listen, I'm a short sprinter. All I know is a one and two. But he told me the 400 meters. And because I had the respect for him, I said, okay, why not? Let's, let's just do it. So time after time, weeks after week, session after session, one thing kept happening, guys. And what was that? I stopped losing happiness in what I was doing. Guys, listen to me. I hated what I was doing. Why? Because I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. I was committing psychological slavery to what somebody else told me to do. And I had to get to a, I had to get to a point where I said, coach, listen to me. This isn't this what I'm doing right now. I'm coming to a training session and I'm leaving less motivated than I actually came. I can't keep doing this, guys. Listen to me. I can't keep doing this. I don't want to do this anymore. I really do not want to do this. And some of you need to get to the point in your life where, you, where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Listen to me. I got to a point where I was sick and tired of doing what other people wanted me to do. I said, coach, I can't do this anymore. I don't love what I'm doing. I need to go back to what I love doing. And until I got to that point, listen to me, my friend told me, he said, Daniel, listen, it doesn't matter what this coach or that coach told you. If your heart is with the 100 meter, if your heart is with the short sprints, stop doing what other people want you to do. And until I applied that myself, listen to me, until I listened to what my friend told me to do, until I said, listen coach, I can't keep doing this. I know you told me to do this, I respect you for it. But listen to me, I do not love doing this. And now, and after that, we made a plan and we moved back down to what I love doing. Now I live in happiness. Now I go to every session motivated. Now I leave every session motivated. Why? Because I'm not committing psychological slavery. And some of you, that's that's what you're doing and it's crazy listen to me guys another thing that I found is that I once made a, I once met a girl who told me about ambitions to be somewhere and sing listen to me but the thing that disgusted me was her attitude to throw that dream in the bin understand this because by all means I thought she was good and I can tell that she wanted it but she was surrounded by so many type ones that they eventually influenced her to bottle it Guys, understand this, because she was surrounded by so many type one people, because she was surrounded by so many people who told her that she can't do this, she then bottled her dream. She's committing psychological slavery, and I hated seeing it. Why? Because I knew that she loved what she did, but because of the, her environment, because of the people that she surrounded herself with, she gave up on her dream. And some of you up there, I can't allow you to do the same thing. So I need you to walk in your greatness, guys. Understand this. I need you to swap your pain for your prize. I need you to start living with faith and not fear. And then when you do that, guys, you make the world a greater place. And then you'll be able to achieve your goals. So I'll see you next week.